Hi guys! In a previous tutorial, I showed how to make an animated GIF for Tumblr using Photoshop Element 7. A viewer recently asked where to get that software. Though I believe it's still available for purchase, it occurred to me that some may not want to buy the software just to make animated GIFs. So here's another option. GIMP is editing software, a bit similar to Photoshop, except it's free. If you don't have it, go here, www.gimp.org. I'm using the Windows version. Check out the particulars, then download it. It just takes a second or two. Open the program. Mine looks like this. These toolbars can be moved around. I'm going to make the workspace really big to minimize distractions. Now let's add some pics for the animated GIF. First, go to the File menu and select Open as Layers. By using this option, a layer for each image I want to use in the GIF will automatically be created. I'm going to use JPEGs of oranges from a previous project. I'll select each of these while holding down the control key so they will all be highlighted. Click open. See? Each image has its own layer. I'm going to make an adjustment so that the dimensions of the GIF aren't too large. To change the size of the GIF, go to the Image menu. Select Scale Image. I want to maintain aspect ratio, so the dimensions are linked here. In this case, I'll make the GIF 500 by 376 pixels. This size should work just fine for Tumblr. All the layers are now resized. To see the project better, Go to the View menu and select Zoom, then choose the option you need. Now, we need to prepare these layers to be animated. To do this, go to the Filters menu. Choose Animation, then Optimize for GIF. A new workspace window opens containing all the layers but now there is also an option to change frame rate. I'm just enlarging the workspace to minimize distractions. You'll see the optimized layers in the new layer section, each one with the frame delay time in parentheses. This number can be changed individually for each image now, so that one image may appear on screen longer than another if you like. Or, if you want all images to appear on screen for the same amount of time, you can make the adjustment later when the GIF is exported. To make frame delay changes, right-click on the layer, choose Layer Attributes. In the pop-up, highlight the number of milliseconds and change it to the number of milliseconds you want that layer to appear in the animation. I'm changing the rate on the bottom layer to 800 milliseconds to create a short pause in the animation. You'll need to experiment with this to see what you prefer. The rest of the layers I'll put at 200 milliseconds. Let's see if it works. To preview the GIF, go back to the Filters menu then Animation, then Playback. Looks good. Now let's export the GIF. Go to the File menu, then click Export. Name the GIF and choose where you want to save it. Select File Type by extension. Scroll down to GIF Image and select it. Click Export. On the next screen, make sure the As Animation box is checked. In the animated GIF options, decide if the GIF should loop. 
If you want all layers to appear for the same amount of time on screen, here is where you can modify the frame rate for all layers. Adjust the number of milliseconds to the desired length of time. Then check the box next to Use Delay entered above for all frames. There are also options for frame disposal, which basically means do the layers replace each other as they appear or do they combine by stacking on top of each other as they appear. I've chosen I don't care. After making selections, click Export. Find the GIF in the folder you saved it in and try it. Now it's ready to use on Tumblr or anywhere else animated GIFs work. I hope you found this tutorial useful. Feel free to comment or ask a question. And thank you so much for watching and subscribing. Until next time, bye!